Hello everyone, Savage Gamer 1998 here, and today I've got another unboxing video from for you guys. There's going to consist of another international console I picked up. It was already imported to the U.S. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it for you guys because I've already got the packaging. Oh, yes, huh? <laughs> put all the padding back in as you can see I've got a European Sega Dreamcast just wow it's like it's mint yeah the only way you can really tell it's European is by the blue swirl on the unit and the different power supply it uses. <laughs> okay. Runs at 220 to 240 volts. And the on 50 hertz and 60 hertz. <laughs> That's a PAL Dreamcast. It is not actually our friend. <laughs> But yeah, we got the same usuals. Of course, there's the front. Yeah, mine's a little bit yellowed, but eh, that's all right. I'll probably be able to uh, whiten this thing a little bit. This is going to be a long video, so I'm going to split this into parts and edit it into one video, so... This will take days to make, because I've got other parts coming in. i got to get the power cord, and I've also got to get an AV cable or an HDMI adapter for this. Because I'm hopeful that this will work on my old TV. Like, I have the CRT TV up there. And I've got a voltage converter coming in, so I definitely need to have have this working properly. And I've got a PAL version of Sonic Adventure coming in, so I can't use this yet. But yeah, I will see you guys when it comes in. Bye. Okay, so it's the day after I got the um the Dreamcast and basically I've just got my package from Amazon to help me use it. Oh oops. Alrighty. Got it open. That was quick. All right. I've actually got a European plug to test fit this, so let's see if this fits. Huh, it does fit. Okay. And here's the cable for this. I want to unwind it.
Yes, I've got to have a have one with a ground connector. Oh, and make sure your input voltage is set to 110 because that's what we use in the US. Well, it's 120, but make sure it's set to your actual voltage. Like, because for example, I'll move all this out of the way. You're probably gonna wonder, how do I make my European Dreamcast work in my country? Because my power is going to destroy this thing. Hang on just a second. Okay, so I've got my power cord. Here's our power standard. And you're thinking, well, it looks like it'll fit. Well, looks like I could do it. Yeah, it'll work. No, you can't do that. You do that, you're going to destroy it. So do not do that. You have to take a European plug and get one of these. Anyway, I'll see you in the next thing that I unbox. All right, so basically, it's this video after I've unboxed the voltage converter. And I'm testing it now using my phone charger. Well, the USB charger of it, because my American one's faster than this one. This is one I've found. Yeah, good thing I had one to, to keep because well I don't know it's just good I have one so I can actually test this but yeah see you in the next part all right I am it is actually November when I got the Dreamcast, and it's actually December that I'm getting that HDMI adapter. I tried the Dreamcast on my CRT TV, but it gave me a weird result. I'll make a separate video about that, showing what happens. And I got a game to demonstrate the unit. I got Sonic Adventure. Yes, this is the European copy. And Dreamcast games, they came they come in these thick cases. And you open them like this and the disc would be right there. That's what European PAL Dreamcast games look like. Now, just for comparison, I'll go get my other copy. Here is my American copy. Okay, uh, I can... there we go. The other side's basically the same thing. And there's the back end. I got the not for resale version back in 2016. Oh, I just dropped the disc. <laughs> Complete fail. Yes, that's how this comparison's gonna start. And here, I'll turn this back. I gotta be careful, like, it's broken. Oh. Hold on. It's getting a little funky. Okay, and my version came with the Sonic Adventure 2 trial disc. Just basically lets you play through Sonic... Basically lets you play through City Escape, and then it promotes the game. But yeah. I'll show you the cases. You can see how thin the American version is compared to the UK version. Back. Backs are also different. 
I'll show you the discs again. Huge major difference between the two. Okay, I'm probably not able to fit all the discs in, in the screen, but you might be able to get the picture. And and I have a memory I have a memory card reformatted to my European Dreamcast in case anybody wonders. It's one that I don't really use a lot, so I just formatted it to my European unit. Now I'm playing this on my computer monitor. So you'll see a little bit of a delay when it comes on. I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on again. And I'm going to try playing it in 50 hertz mode. Okay, let me just place the camera. Oh, and I have a step-down transformer, by the way. Oh, you probably already know that. If you saw my saw a clip in this video. But for those that like to skim through the video, I actually do have a transformer. Reset it. Get that chair out of the way. Huh. I guess I have to boot it using the AV cable. I might do it on my flat screen one day. Select a memory card. Select a file. Select a character. You can see I was already playing through this. Skip all this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try putting the box. Okay. Okay, this is probably going to be a little bit freaky. My phone's probably going to fall off of there. But yeah.
But yeah, other than that, it looks like it runs Enjoy mostly the same. I'll thank you not to interrupt me, train announcer. I don't know why, I just love talking back to the train announcer. I don't know why, I just do. I may do a comparison between the two using 50 hertz mode and the composite video game. Once again. But yeah. I'm gonna stop this video right here. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. And goodbye.